everybody, it's Miss Kathy from the National Trust. Let's talk today about some of the animals that we find here in the Cayman Islands. They're beautiful. And we have lots of special species, but I brought four here today that we can talk a little bit more about. First of all, I bet you guys know what this is. This is a bat, and this is our only native mammal. Now mammals are the animals that have fur. So people are mammals, see my fur, our hair and dogs and cats and cows and horses and rabbits, all those are mammals. Now bats are mammals too, and these are the only mammals that you would find in the Cayman Islands before people came and brought all the others along with us. This bat is beautiful and super special species. They do lots of things for people that we really, really need and pay attention to. For instance, they love to eat bugs. The insect eater ones, they eat, they can come out at night and eat millions of insects every night. That means millions of insects like mosquitoes. And if you don't like to get bitten by mosquitoes when you go outside, then we definitely want to keep our insect eating bats around. Some bat species are fruit eaters, and those ones are important too because they can carry seeds and drop them through the forest and make more fruit trees. And they're also important for pollination. That helps the tree as well. So all of these things bats do for the environment and they're very important things that they do and they're very important for people as well. So we want to keep our bats around. These are great. And by the way, don't be afraid of bats. Some people are, but there's no reason to here in Cayman because our bats here are very nice. They don't carry any diseases and they do so many good, important things for us. So these are our bats. I bet you can think of another flying animal here that I have on my table. That's right, our parrot. This is one of our most beautiful bird species, I think, don't you? There's two kinds we have here in the Cayman Islands, one on Grand Cayman and one on Cayman Brack. They look very similar to each other. They're small differences, but they both look a lot like this. So this, this, this parrot is very camouflaged. You know what camouflage means? It means that they can blend in in its surroundings very well, so you can barely see it. Sometimes you can really hear these birds though, can't you? Have you ever heard them? They make really, really loud squawking noises. And when you look up in the tree sometimes, because you hear them, it's hard to see them. That's because they're so well camouflaged. This green of their feathers matches the green of the tree, the leaves, and sometimes the red that they have here on their faces and on their legs matches the, the leaves and the fruits that are in the trees as well. So they're very, very good at hiding and sometimes you don't even see this blue stripe until they're flying. Next time you see one flying though, look for that blue stripe along their wing because it kind of flashes in the sunshine. It's really, really beautiful. So our bats are, and our parrots are very special creatures. How about what this is? This is our beautiful blue iguana. Blue iguanas live nowhere else but in Grand Cayman in the whole world. This is where they live, so we're very special to have such an amazing creature living here in Grand Cayman. If you go to the Botanic Park, make sure that you go with your parents over to the Blue Iguana Conservation Facility right next to the Botanic Park and have a look because they'll show you all the big beautiful blue iguanas that we have there. It's a very special species. And there's a similar one in the Sister Islands called the Sister Islands Rock Iguana, a cousin to this guy. Another beautiful, beautiful iguana. And then the last one I brought for you guys to look at, what's this one? You recognize it? It's a sea turtle. Sea turtles are very important for the Cayman Islands. When people first came to Cayman, that's what they noticed first about it. It was all the turtles that were swimming around the islands. There were millions of them, they think, that used to nest here. People use them for everything. Sometimes people would eat them or they would use the shell for, to make jewelry out of. And unfortunately, the numbers went down a lot. But we're working on bringing them back. And now there's about 150 turtles that nest here every year, which is fantastic. There are several different kinds. There's green sea turtles and hawksbill sea turtles. So they're beautiful, beautiful turtles and we try to look after them because it's so fun when you go swimming and you get to see them. That's really fun. You'll get to see that one day and you can go to the turtle farm and see them there as well. These are different, by the way, than the turtles you see in the ponds. If any of you ever have gone and fed the ducks in the ponds, you probably have seen the turtles. Those turtles are called hickatees and that's a freshwater turtle. And they're different. This is a saltwater turtle. They live in the ocean. And you can tell them apart. Probably the easiest way to tell is by their feet. 
You see how these sea turtles have flippers? They hardly ever go on land except when they come to lay their eggs. Mostly they're swimming, so their, their feet look more like flippers. Whereas the hickatees, the freshwater turtles, they have claws because they go out and they walk around on land more often and crawl up on rocks to sit in the sun and things. So that's a good way to tell them apart. So these are some great examples of some of the beautiful animals that we have here in the Cayman Islands that we need to look after so that we always have these beautiful animals here. Thanks so much guys, it was great to see you.